Hey folks, how we doing today? It's me again, Shannon Fox here, the Voted Patriots 2 channel. I got several things I want to tell y'all today while I'm thinking about it. Uh, first off, I'll be on American Patriot News this evening. Uh, during the debate, uh, me, Matt, Romeo, and several of the gang will be over there dropping in uh, to discuss the debate and watch the debate together, like we always do. Come join us, American Patriot News. We'll be on live probably about 7.45 Central Time. So I don't know where you're at accordingly, 15 to 30 minutes before the debate starts. Uh, got that uh, bit of information out of the way. We've got a war going on in Russia and Ukraine attacking each other. We've got um, ballistic missiles flying all over the place between Israel and Iran. They're attack, uh, Israel being attacked today from several directions. And we've got a massive flood situation, a Hurricane Helene that has wiped out entire towns in on the East Coast, including big parts of North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia. It, it's just devastating, folks. I've watched a lot of the footage, people saving animals and things, and just looking at the flood footage, it's just, it's devastating, folks. I, I have to put my heart goes out to these people. I do have about a four minute long video of a lady that is um, in process of getting food and water to some of these people. And she's got some things to say that I just thought was spot on. And uh, she's actually right. Uh, Biden would rather send $175 billion in aid to Ukraine, write that check, no problem, executive order that money. But when it comes to needing money for um, natural disasters, like what happened in Ohio, what happened in Maui, what's now happening on the East Coast with the hurricane, go donate. We don't have the money to pay for that. We're spending, sending all our money to Ukraine this week. That's what's really going on. Kamala Harris is fundraising in California for her campaign. While several uh, politicians have stopped fundraising for themselves in order to donate the money to the actual disaster, that's what that's what good humans do. Trump has set up a GoFundMe page after after he went down to the um, to the uh, disaster site in Georgia, and uh, we'll talk about that here in a minute. I got a few clips about that as well. Uh, I don't know what the number is up to right now. It's well, it was well up over a million dollars yesterday. It's probably a couple million dollars by today. But everybody um, that can afford it, I would say it's probably a good cause, good a cause as any. Sending the money to somebody that's actually going to get the water and the food and the supplies actually trucked in to these devastated uh, areas. Now, we know that... Um, the government's not going to do much. Maybe certain politicians, but for the most part, the government's not going to do much. As a matter of fact, Trump has done more <clears throat> to help out people in bad situations, disaster situations, disaster relief, uh, whatever whatever comes up. He seems to be the one, to, even these Afghanistan uh, Gold Star families, seems to be the one that seems very presidential, wants to help extend his, his heart, his hand, and even his financial ability. and be able to reach people with his message because the man is like a walking microphone. Every time he says something, it gets it gets exposed, blowed up, and put out there. So that's that's great as well. I'm glad Trump is using his voice to encourage people to help these people. Um, several people have donated a lot of money, and I'm sure Trump is going to be donating a lot himself. The first day he went down there to Georgia was yesterday, and he came down with truckload of water and different things, supplies that were needed. Uh, just just to try to give these people something to tide them over until um, the rest of the relief can actually get in and show up. <clears throat> now, this here is the video I want to bring you. It's a little bit long, but oh, it's so... Um, I'll try not to cry, folks. It really kind of broke my heart to hear this, just to realize uh, everything she says is absolutely true. But there's a uh, silver lining forever cloud and uh, there's definitely a silver lining to the story as well so stick around folks it's not all doom and gloom uh, there's always um, something to be learned from every uh, bad situation and uh, i think the unity of the country people deciding to help their fellow neighbor is where it's at um, for this message of the day you'll see here we go <clears throat> Let's scroll down here real quick, turn the volume on. 
I want to share with y'all some things you may not know about what's happening in the North Carolina mountains in the aftermath of Helene. Here's number one. If you have friends or family that are headed into the mountains or who live there, the looting has picked up major steam. I was advised yesterday by a county sheriff to make sure that anybody out and about is carrying, and in his words, carrying with the safety off. There are very aggressive people out there, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say this, it's not because they're necessarily awful, they're desperate. Desperate people do desperate things, y'all. And why are they desperate? Because there's no water in some of these communities. We have neighbors in North Carolina with no water. And all I can say is this, the government ain't coming to save you, not now, not ever because they don't care about you the people anymore it is the citizens who are going to have to step it up now i got to tell y'all i was floored yesterday by how my community which is a little over an hour away from the affected areas showed up at donation sites with water and diapers and formula and some uh, liquid iv i mean y'all brought all kind of things bleach vinegar you are ready to help and we're going to take more donations today and we're so grateful for everything because i'm going to get it into the hands of actual volunteers and i was asking people like why are you bringing it to me some of y'all don't even know me and they said well we don't trust the relief organizations anymore y'all we have lost our organizations yeah. to grifters we have lost our organizations to liars and so we have to rely on each other because that's how this country was built this country was built patriot by patriot and i can tell you this yes. as a realtor i know my realtors in the mountains and I have talked to them and they know the neighbors too. So I am getting your donations into hands that are going to get it into hands and everybody that sent me dollars, I got teams of shoppers out and I got receipts to prove it because we are not grifters. We are neighbors and the patriots that are in the mountains. If you see this, if your family sees this, hear me now, you are not forgotten by the rest of North Carolina. And if you are not in North Carolina, then there are ways that you can give. But can I just remind you all of something? You cannot eat money. You cannot drink money. So for those of y'all that thought money was your God, and by the way, that includes our freaking elected officials, it's not your God. I told my girlfriend this morning while we were talking about this during our run, I said, tell your children, because she's got grown children, this is why you keep a stash of water on hand. This is why you keep a stash of food on hand. But for those of y'all that are not in affected areas, if you can take your donated items and send it to the mountains, then send it with a friend. Make sure you're sending truckloads so that we don't overload the roads because our first responders are overwhelmed. By the way, thank you, Governor DeSantis, for doing more for North Carolina than North Carolina's governor has. I'm very grateful for your National Guard because we have to help each other, y'all. And I'm gonna tell you something. If you will share this with somebody who doesn't know what's happening in North Carolina, they need to know. They need to know that there are entire towns gone. Chimney Rock is gone, a beautiful town. Swannanoa, gone. Montreat, gone. Other towns damaged beyond repair. That means our geography has changed, our culture is at risk, but most importantly, our people, our generational people have lost their generational homes. This ain't about your granite countertops anymore. Listen, y'all, listen. Tell somebody how they can help. I am but one resource. There are people I know all over North and South Carolina that have been gathering up goods and trucks. Somebody as far away as Massachusetts putting a truck together, let me know. I can connect you to where to take things. The Baptists are doing a great job out of Boone. Samaritan's Purse is on the ground. I trust those two organizations. I wish I had trust for more because I don't trust this government, but I trust the people of North Carolina. Y'all, the biggest thing you can do, pray. Pray right now. Pray fervently that people will turn their hearts back to God and pray for a head to protection around all those who have seen things they should never have to see. I'll tell you one more story before I hang up this video. I had a lady come to my donation site yesterday and her grandson is 10 years old living in the mountains with his mother who works in a VA hospital. Yes. They're getting the kid out today to get him home because they can finally get him out. And they're worried because he has seen things he should never have to see. When you have children that are seeing bodies on the ground and towns gone, we're gonna have to answer for that one day, y'all. Please pray, please do something. And for those of y'all that have already done something, I can't thank you enough. Wow. I've seen that video about two and a half times now, and it still gets me right here.
I feel so bad for those people. Now, Trump had several things to say, including showing up at the site in Georgia. I'm going to just go right down the list. I've got several Twitter clips here of some things going on. People that actually do care. Uh, first thing, we'll go through Trump's first one. Uh, this is one of the things that he trooped out today. It says to it says to every family that has been displaced in Georgia, North Carolina, and throughout the region, our hearts are with you in this need in your hour of need. You are in our prayers today throughout all the long weeks that lay ahead. We love you. We are with you, and we will be back again and again. That's great. I'm glad to see it. Oh, this is so sad. Heartbreaking, folks. It's kind of sad that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden will probably never show up to any of these affected places. And so it takes somebody like Trump to show up just to put it in their face. Why aren't you doing your effing job? And that's not why he's there. He's there because he wants to help because he has the means to help uh, by putting not just donations, but by encouraging his MAGA, his MAGA fan base to chip in when you can. So Trump started a GoFundMe page. It says, uh, breaking. Trump just launched a GoFundMe for Hurricane Helena victims. It was at almost $1 million within just a few minutes. He takes matters into his own hands because the federal government refuses, refuses to care. Yeah, where is this quick response from FEMA at? Let me show you this, folks. I'll blow this up for you real quick. Now, um, there are several people that donated hundreds of dollars, and there are several people that donated thousands of dollars. And uh, Kelly Loeffler, the senator, went as far as to donate a half a million dollars. Awesome job. Awesome job. That's a good politician right there, folks. Not too many of them, but there's a few that actually care. Speaking of the GoFundMe account here, uh, Trump was shaking hands actually down at the uh, devastation site in Georgia yesterday <clears throat> discussing with um, uh, some other organizers there that are with like Samaritan first and things about what he can do to actually get help there. Um, qu the quicker, the better. He's talked to Elon Musk and they're working on getting Starlink set up there so everybody can get communications back up immediately. Not having an internet signal uh, communications is a horrible situation to be in when you're stranded without food and water. So hopefully we'll get that taken squared away pretty quick as well. Trump's doing a great job just trying to help. It says here, we'll go down to here. I have another chart for you here. I believe this is one where it shows everybody donated. Yeah, here we go. This is uh, some of the donation charts. It says Kelly Loeffler, $500,000. Dana White, UFC uh, boss, $100,000. Dan Newland, I don't know who that is, $100,000. Uh, Bass Pro Shop, $100,000. Good job. Kid Rock, $20,000. Uh, Heidi, John and Heidi Holcomb, $5,000. And John Shahidi, $5,000. And the list goes on and on. A lot of them are... Uh, Five, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred dollar donations, but uh, there's been hundreds and hundreds of donations come in in the last twenty four hours, and you are welcome to do the same. If you're in a financial situation where you can help these poor folks, uh, it, it, it's definitely a needed time to do it. Um, pray for these folks and donate if you can. Now, I want to show you some politicians that actually do give a shit about our country including Mark Robinson, <clears throat> who's been taking a lot of flack because the Democrats really hate him because he's uh, one of those going to be one of those top governors like DeSantis. And he's kind of like Trump. He speaks his mind, uh, just comes right out and tells it like it is. But before I get into that, let's show you what CNN is saying about Trump since he has been down to the, to the, famous, or to the disaster site, started a GoFundMe account. I bring a little bit of Canada. awareness. He is, being, he is being treated not just as a former. I don't think CNN likes this very much. I think they have a real hard time with Trump being nice. I don't even think they understand what it means to just be a giving person. 
and want to help. Trump's not down there just to help Republicans. That's 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 the whole thing, and they don't get it. That's 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 the whole problem that they have. He is being treated not just as a former president, but almost as though he is a sitting president. As Boris, you just noted, getting a briefing from FEMA, getting a briefing from the National Guard, that is not something that is typically just offered to a candidate. They are treating him as though he is a former president who is there to help. And one thing that I had noticed earlier during our 1 p.m. conversation was that Donald Trump did not have that much to offer in terms of resources since he is not a sitting president. But I will note that he and the campaign say that they have arrived in that area with trucks full of supplies that they plan on giving out. So there is something there for them to offer. He also said that he had a tanker truck full of gasoline, which obviously, if you've ever covered one of these storms, you understand that one of the first things and hardest things to come by is gasoline. So he said that he was going to be giving that out. He is clearly taking this seriously as a politician is on the ground trying to show that he is there in support of He's not doing it as a politician. He's doing it as a human being that cares about people. The people on the ground in Georgia. Now, the political thing, right thing to do for Kamala and Joe would be to come down there and offer their assistance and expedite FEMA's uh, uh, disaster relief immediately instead of dragging their feet and hanging out at the beach and campaigning in California. It's a sad, it's a sad state of affairs. No doubt about it, folks. <clears throat> but there's always those shining lights, that silver lining, those folks that actually do care, that want to show up and, and, and do the right thing. And speaking of one of the pers- one of the people that I think has been wrongly accused, he may have <clears throat> even done some of the things he's been accused of, but at this point, I don't really care. I still like Mark Robinson. I think he's a very religious man. I think he speaks the truth every time he opens his mouth. I think he's an avid Trump supporter. I think he'll be the best governor North Carolina ever had. And the Democrats do not want an outspoken Republican, MAGA first, America first governor, especially a black guy, because it's kind of hard for them to call him a racist. So they're now coming after him over allegations of comments on a porn site or something a couple of weeks back. I'm sure they can probably find that kind of trash on any of those politicians if they actually dug deep enough. Nobody's perfect. But at any rate, I think he's the best man for the job in North Carolina. He's proven that he's a leader, and he does care about the people. So Mark Robinson is quietly coordinating one of the most incredible recovery efforts in his history. Meanwhile, his opponent is busy getting lobbied by special interests at another fundraiser. So while the Democrats are fundraising for their self, the, the decent politicians, the decent humans uh, that are in politics and have any influence or power, should be doing right here what Mark Robinson's doing. Hey, guys, hey guys, trying Robinson. to help. Still up here in the western part of the state. And, guys, and guys I'm going to show you something. This is North Carolina right here. Look at this. We got civilians. We got law enforcement. We got the uh, pride of North Carolina. North Carolina's National Guardsmen out here, guys. And all of these folks are out here working hard as you are back home to send in these donations that you see coming in to get out here to these flood victims, these victims of this hurricane. Guys, this is North Carolina at its absolute finest right here. Just want you to take a look at what's going on right there. You see sheriff deputies working along with National Guard, with civilian guys. You got a civilian truck here. You got a, a sheriff's vehicle back there. Just like it was when we came up here when I bought my own vehicle up here, guys. This is an all hands on deck situation. That means my hands, your hands, every elected official's hands. We have got to answer the call for these people up here in, in, uh, in Western Carolina. And it is happening, folks. And it's happening because of you and all the great people in this state guys so god bless y'all and we'll see y'all soon thank you i agree i agree doing a great job that's why the left hates him so much he's a good person they can't stand that they just cannot stand it speaking of another good person i got another one here this is actually one of my uh becoming one of my favorite politicians these days he's he's on the top 10 list for sure so Tim Burchett, I like the way he talks. He's very honest, very outspoken. He's got big balls like so very few of the Republicans, and, and I just I just love that, that he, he tells it like it is. 
This is breaking news. Tennessee Representative Tim Burchett has suspended all his campaign fundraising and is urging all his donors to send money to Hurricane Helen victims instead. That's the right answer right there. He's even redirecting some of his funds to local charities. I'm sending some of the some to the East Tennessee Foundation, of course, Samaritan's First, Franklin Graham's organization does great work all over the country. I already love Tim Burchett, but I, but now I appreciate him even more than before. Politicians usually use tragedies to raise money, but not this guy. He's actually the real deal. That is great. Everybody, everybody Tim Burchett. I know everybody's, I know everybody's seen all the devastating floods. Blood. That have ripped through through parts of East Tennessee Tennessee and North Carolina Carolina are just horrendous. horrendous. Um, Uh, We're going to suspend our our fundraising fundraising and and let's try to focus focus on on what's really important important in our community. community. It's the people. people. So So please please send any of that that money. money. Send it to these groups. groups. Um, I'm Um, sending some some to um, the East Tennessee Foundation. Of course, Samaritan Purse, Franklin Graham's organization does great work all over the the country. The country. Uh, uh, I, I, just I just think that's more, that's appropriate, more appropriate right now. Right now. And, uh, and uh, I know folks, I know folks can, can give, give some. some. Those small donations, small donations are really what really count. count. Uh, if you uh, can, if you can't can give, give, maybe you can take maybe some bottled water bottle to your water church, to church or food or supplies. Supply. If you can't do that, can't just, do pray. That, just pray. pray. Pray and ask pray God to deliver these poor folks from this horrible, horrible tragedy that's come upon them and that they find all their loved ones. God bless him. Thank y'all so much for sending me here. Stand up guy right there, folks. Didn't mean to bring y'all a sad podcast, uh, but there is so much going on in the world today, folks. And uh, just trying to bring you the news, uh, good, bad, and ugly. But I'm glad to see we do have people like Trump, Elon Musk, Tim Burchett, Mark Robinson, people that actually care about the state of the country not just the state of their party or the state of their election coming up. And that makes a huge difference to me. If I've seen any of these Republicans, any of these Republicans that don't stand up and speak up for the flood victims, try to raise money, not for themselves, but for the flood victims, I think that's the least they can do. If they're in the business of raising money, being politicians, it'd be very easy to do just what Tim Burchett did come out and say, hey, look, all campaign fundraising donations that would be coming to me, just send them to the Samaritans first or one of those organizations like that down there, somewhere where the actual money is getting in, or even like the lady, uh, disrespected trucker that I just showed you the video of. You can come over to my webpage and find her directly through her channel on Twitter and donate directly to help them as well. Uh, volunteering to help would be a great thing, too, if you live anywhere near the affected area. Wish I lived a little closer. I'd be wanting to go help myself. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I got my certification to be a poll watcher. I don't know if you can see it up there on the wall. I'm bona fide now. That's all good news, folks. It means in a couple of weeks I'll be getting a phone call, start the early voting, get to be a poll watcher. Now, that's the bottom line. That's all I got for you today, folks. Hopefully, everybody's having a great day. Uh, Sorry to bring you such negative news, but I'm still going to know one way or another. Got to get the stuff out. Everybody have a great one. Over and out. So did Putin. Then he invaded Ukraine. 